Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is JW and in this channel I talk about how to live a nomad life here in Jeju which means I don't have a permanent address here. So today's topic is what is Jeju Pass? Um, actually this topic is not really related to a nomad life but I just want to do this because I'm a, a pass lover myself and I just want to do it for my interest. Okay, so before I start, I just want to point you out this very important fact is that Jeju Pass is not a, it's not a brand. It's just a general term. Okay, so it's, um, it's a ticket uh, which allows you to enjoy some tourist attraction here in Jeju or have get some treats like a, a coffee or even souvenir. So this is a general term. Uh, I think there are five different brands. I will go over in detail in later part of this video. But just to remind you, Jeju Pass is not a, it's not a specific brand. It's just a general term. Okay. So this video, I will break it down to four parts. Okay. So first, um, why you need Jeju Pass. Okay. And second, uh, different types of Jeju Pass. Okay. And the third part will be. Uh, what is all-inclusive Jeju Pass? I want to specifically focus on this all-inclusive. So, and the fourth and the last top last part is where to buy this Jeju Pass. Okay. okay so let's get started. So first, uh, why you need Jeju Pass? The reason is simple: to save money. Um, I'm actually traveling Jeju right now, and when I go to some attraction and try to enjoy, I never ever just go to ticket counter and buy. Uh, ticket at the regular price. I never do it and actually no Korean has ever do this. Okay, we, they, we usually buy ticket uh, online pre book where we can get a huge discount usually like a 50% sometimes even goes to 80% so you only pay 20% So this is the main reason that we buy Jeju Pass Save big time. Okay, so it's gonna save your money. So the second part is uh, different types of Jeju Pass Okay, so there are actually are two main like group of category. One is a uh, all inclusive pass where you just buy one ticket and within a certain period of time, usually forty eight hours, you can pretty much go as much as you want on the list that they they provide you. But you can only go one time for one attraction for the one pass. Okay, if you buy two pass and use for 48 hours and then later 48 hours you can actually go uh, I actually done this many times because I just like something that I really like to do many times but uh, usually you have to you can only allow to go one time one attraction for one time for one pass okay so this is all inclusive and the second type is uh, like pick as you go so you can usually pick uh, they have like a long list of all the attraction you can usually pick two or three or five out of the list you don't have to pick at the time where you purchase you can just you just buy like two attraction pass three five then you can you can go you can go to the list and then you can just pick and choose at the time of your travel okay you don't have to pre-select the attraction at the time of the purchase so it gives you more flexibility uh, this video I will more focus on the all-inclusive because that's the one that I like and I hope that you will uh, get more out of it from the money that you spend okay so all-inclusive pass okay so this is gonna be my third part Wh what is all-inclusive pass and how it works okay so I will go specific for this all-inclusive pass okay they actually have a two brand uh, as of now uh, one we call Jeju Tour Pass and the other is Jeju All Pass, okay? The way they work is almost same. The system, the structure is same, but what is different is the the list of the attraction that you are allowed to go. Uh, they are very different, okay? Almost no overlap. So um, Jeju, but they, they have different style, I think. Uh, Jeju Tour Pass has more like uh, action-oriented attraction, like a go-kart, Zip line, yacht tour, something, something action, okay. And on the other hand, Jeju All Pass is it's catered to the person who who likes coffee. It's more like a cafe gore. So 
there are a lot of uh, cafe that you can get a free drink usually a uh, americano coffee but you can upgrade your coffee uh, you just have to pay the differential okay so i never use all pass because i i don't drink coffee that much but actually in jeju tour pass i use this like three or four times already they actually have a five or six cafe that you can get a free coffee okay so the way they work is you buy this ticket online uh before you go to trip usually the expiration date is usually two months or three months something like this. it's more than more than months so you just buy this like a month before the way they work is they they send you a, a link uh, in Kakao usually Kakao top and when you click the link they gonna show the barcode and you just show this barcode at the attraction and they scan it and they will just gonna give you a ticket or sometimes give you a coffee or something like this uh, but you have to remember um, you can go as much as, as you want but you can go uh, there is gonna be a waiting time uh, you cannot just go one attraction and five minutes la later you can go another that's not possible you have to wait one hour before to use this ticket again so go one place enjoy then drive and go other place but if you go there within one hour after the you scan before, you just have to wait it, okay? There's going to be a timer. I can show you this, okay? There's going to be a timer. Uh, it's going to count down until zero, then you can use it, okay? So, so since you have 48 hours, you can go as much as 48 times, but usually the shop closed during the, during the night time, so... Um, this is how it works okay so where to buy online uh but not every uh online shopping mall will sell this usually i use timon ticket monster it's it's very uh reliable dependable shopping mall that i use they usually sell a lot of like a uh, travel package so i i like this shopping mall but if you can find this pass in other shopping mall it's 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 all same usually the even the website the the posting looks almost same so you will just know you can just buy from any place the whichever shopping mall that you prefer you can just buy okay uh, this is a go kart it's called durukumda kart in songsan this is a great place i highly recommend this place it has a very long track so you can really enjoy the go kart experience This is a zip line. It's called Jeju Rap. There's actually a 10,000 won extra for this, about nine US dollar. But it's very good. It has a three line, three parts. Uh, this is a, a what do you call foot bath. So it's called Sokhe Won Jogyo. So uh, you soak your foot on the hot water and they give you Jeju Har by team. It's very relaxing time, very good experience too. Mm. Uh, this is another go-kart, it's called Onurun Kart Racing. It has a shorter track, very good too. Okay, so the thing to take away from this video is that never ever just go to the ticket office and buy ticket at the regular price. Please don't do this. Uh, even in a single ticket, you can always go online and buy a discounted ticket. Always there's going to be a, a discount ticket for almost pretty much the, every single attraction in Jeju. But um, I think the all-inclusive pass is the best because I think it's going to give you a best bang for your buck. <laughs> so, uh, I think this is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.